Me in drowning this golden drink. You made it. Come, have a drink. You're a few horns deep already. <laughs> Yet still floating. Tell me, how did my old friend like his goblet gift? There were other things on his mind. Your man Ulfra, for instance. He died protecting the spoils he stole from Hafton. Ulfra. Poor Ulfra. I told him to mind your tongue, but he wags it like a slobbering dog. Was Halfton always so easily riled? No. Riches and glory have shaped him into something new. He's not the same man he used to be. What is this place? I expected an army ready for Warcraft. This was our first camp in Northumbria. I came here with Hafton and his brothers, Uba and Ivar. We besieged Jorvik and put King Alla in the cold ground. Those were good days, now too far gone. What is all this? My share of the treasure we took from those distant days. I buried it here for a rainy day. This bag is heavy with silver. Enough to pay for an army. Come! Race me to Jorvik, Eivor. Remind me of the glories long gone. You're too drunk to win a race. Then have a drink. Make it fair. What's keeping you, friend Eivor, waiting for spring? Best not fall off your horse. See you in Yorick. Your horse is slow, and her ride is drunk. The gods love a fool. Fly! Show Father with our asses! The mead gave you luck, that's all. <laughs> I offered you enough mead to best me. No excuses. What are we doing in Yorwick? You haven't said. Paying a visit to our kept King Rishi. Long may he reign. I haven't enough men to beat the Picts alone, but with Rishi and his feared, we'll finish them off. You'd bring a puppet king into this fight, but not your Yaw? Psh! Keep this to yourself. 
The streets have ears, the windows have eyes. I did not agree to this level of deception. You should have told me this before. Eivor, my friend. If I describe my full strategy, we might never leave the campfire. I'd prefer the light of a fire to the darkness of your plans. But don't do it again. I should have seen it. Things are better now, are they not? Ever since Alvin. What? I've been afraid to touch even a drop of wine since the Yuletide feast. Hey! One more reason to Troll driver! Me. I wish Yuletide happened every month. The daily slog kills me. Go! <laughs> Wait. A favor I must ask of you. Make no mention that Hafton is ignorant of our plans. It's better this way. Are you mad? Reach your answers to Hafton. You put this man in grave danger if he defies his master's will. Richier cannot defy orders he has never heard, no? Trust me, I will take the blame should our plan fall apart. Eivor the wolf kissed and half done's cupbearer? What a curious surprise. I hope the day finds you and Jorvik well. Yes, we scrape by, with what little we still own. But this new war should make us wealthy once again. Until our tribute is taken. I smell the bile on your breath, King. Do not forget who is in charge here. Oh, do remind me, Faravid. Yesterday it was half done, but today I hear whispers that you are leading the charge. I am confused. Yes, you answer to Hafton. And now, he orders one final strike on the picked stronghold at Magnus. To make war with the North on such a scale will require a hefty amount of silver and a large force of men. My soldiers and silver are pledged already. I expect the same from you. I have given my aid as well. The battle must be decisive. I see. And you have these orders from half done in writing, yes? From the great man himself? To be clear, King Richier, Hafton knows nothing about this attack. Nothing at all? That's unusual, Faravid. Eivor is mistaken, Lord King. I was given Hafton's personal assurance that you would volunteer your troops. He expects as much. But Hafton is ailing and tired. Let us not burden him with more worry, but please him with a swift victory. I'm sorry, Faravid, but duty compels me to refuse. Without strict orders from Hafton, I will not risk the lives of so many. You deny me! I do. To gift you an army puts my wealth and reputation at risk. That's not what Hafton wants. He needs a strong and loyal king. You presume to know what Hafton wants. Without Hafton's formal approval, I cannot help. It's too great a risk. And after all, he is my ally. You understand? I should break your arms for that. What were you doing? I saw no reason to hide the truth. Rishia is a Saxon puppet. He has more to lose than you and I ever will. That serpent cannot be trusted, Eivor. If he tells Hafton of our plan, our victory is at risk. Our victory is for Hafton's own benefit. We will secure Northumbria for him, along with the gratitude of all its Saxon and Norse subjects. Fine. If we falsify orders from Hafton, Rishia will accept them. Hjor of Jorvik could help. Good. Kjor's favorite alehouse is nearby. Seek him there. I wish you all had happened. 
And every month, the daily slog kills me. Not if it happens the way it did last. Ugh. Go, Zulin. You are better at You're just where I hoped you would be. Eivor! Gods! You have come at just the right moment. Right then, watch this! Go home or get hurt. But you won't bother my friends. I'll bother who I please after I brick your face to the brains! the fighter. Thank you, Wolfkist. Those men will wake up soon enough. With greater sense, I hope. What brings you back to Jorvik? Secret errands for Hafton. I need an army of men to face the Picts in the north. Has Hafton planned an attack he cannot afford? That's not like him. To be clear, Faravit made this plan, not Hafton. Does Haltan know of this plan, or...? He doesn't, but he's given me leave to act as I must, for reasons I cannot share. Yes, we've heard the rumors, and all our messages have gone unanswered. Can you aid me with some trickery? Help me forge a set of orders from Haftan himself, to force Rishia's cooperation. You will be taking quite a risk. You have my thanks. We can meet outside the Royal Hall, after you have the documents. Eivor, join me for a drink. You think you can cuddle? You both seem to have settled well in the city. Yes. We do enjoy the comforts we have here, but I still think about Norway. The cold and the warmth. Stay on the road safe, Eivor. I try to. This forgery and pray that King Rishia sees nothing amiss. I trust you know what you're doing. Straight from Hafton's hand, as you see. Hmm. Yes. Yes. Well. If Hafton's loyal mules have pledged to fight, still, my help will come at a price. If you're speaking of coin, I remind you that your soldiers are mine. Hafton's, my good man. 
Hafton soldiers for these are Hafton's orders. Correct? But I jest. I jest. All is in order, then. If Hafton commands, I shall raise my feared. And you shall have your fighting army. Good. Get them marching at once. This must happen soon. As soon as they are mustered, Lord Faravid, and no sooner. Eivor, a moment with you? I'll meet you at Stenweir. Faravid is Hafton's man. So are the Hemmings of Nottinghamshire, as are we here in Jorvik. But not you. I don't like talk that dances around thorns. <laughs> For whom are you fighting, truly? I fight for myself, and my people. As any great leader must. Why ask me of loyalty? What are you seeking? An innocuous question. Loyalty is a word that slides off the lips like honey. Sweet to the taste, but never lingering. There are things simmering in Northumbria, hidden from even you. Take heed, and have a care. Farabit should be waiting at Stenway.